Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to get you started on Dante AI. Dante helps you create custom AI chatbots trained on your personal data that you can share on your websites within minutes. There's a number of people who can benefit from this. Firstly, if you have your own website or company and you want to create a simple chatbot that you can integrate on your website without getting help from an external agency, you can do this yourself just based on the steps that I'm going to show you today. On the other hand, if you have your own AI automation agency that you're building and providing services to different clients, Dante is a great product to add to your toolkit. It also allows your chatbot to work with over 100 languages, so this is especially useful if your website or company deals with clients from different countries. Now, since Dante requires you to upload your own personal data or company data, it's important to know where it's stored. As per their FAQs, Dante stores their data in secure and encrypted AWS servers. They cannot read or access your documents, so they are pretty safe. If you have more questions about their features, you can of course come to their own chatbot on their own website built using Dante itself. For example, you can ask this question right here, tell me 10 things that I can do with Dante, and it's gonna start responding to you right away. Here you can do things like create custom chatbots, create a chatbot trained on videos such as podcasts and other kinds of lectures, analyze reports, connect Dante to WhatsApp for your business, and white label your custom chatbots. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple chatbot using a knowledge base that I created myself. By the way, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to sign up to my AI newsletter. I'm aiming to keep my newsletter more execution focused versus just a list of AI news. All right, let's get started. Now, I already have an account with Dante, but if you don't, I do have a personal link which is linked to my description and on the first comment of my video. After you sign up and log in, this is the screen you're gonna see. Now, I have it set to dark mode, but if you prefer the lighter version of this, you can come down right here and click on this toggle. That changes the brightness level of the screen. I'm gonna set it back to dark. Now I'm going to give you a small overview of this tool so you know where everything is. The first feature here is the kind of model that you want to work with. With Pro, you're going to use GPT 3.5 Turbo, which consumes one credit per response. Then you have Pro 16K, which uses a 16K model and consumes four credits per response. Then you have the Pro Plus, which is GPT 4, and then Falcon LLM. And these are ones which are available in the higher paid versions of Dante AI. Next here is an important section called Called a knowledge base. Now what exactly is a knowledge base? Now if you have used ChatGPT in the past, you might have heard that its knowledge ends in 2021 and that is kind of a good analogy of what this means. The knowledge base decides on the actual data that your chat responses will work with. And if you click on that, you're going to see three different kinds of data that you can add to your knowledge base. The first thing here is a URL. For example, if you have one website with 100 pages with different kinds of information, that entire website can be a knowledge base. Or if you have a YouTube video or a playlist of YouTube videos that you want to add as a knowledge base, then your chatbot will only take information from those videos or URLs that you provide. Now you can of course add multiple links here to add more knowledge to your knowledge base, but mind you there is a limitation on the number of characters that you can use and that depends on the membership level that you have subscribed to. And the third option here is to drag and drop files directly. For example, if you have an entire book that you want your chatbot to work with, then you can upload that entire book. Of course, depending on the number of characters that book has. You can also have a lot of financial data in Excel sheets that you can upload here and later use the AI inbuilt into the chatbot to crunch numbers from those Excel sheets and give your responses versus you having to understand all those Excel files yourself. For today's video, I'm going to use an example of a travel website and I do have a travel website myself, so I would like to integrate Dante into my website in the future. And the files I have here are two articles about winter destinations in Europe. The first one is regular winter destinations for someone who might like skiing or snow and these have examples from Austria, Switzerland, Norway and Finland. 
And I have another document which is about warm destinations to go in a European winter. And these have examples from Spain, Portugal, Malta, Cyprus, and Italy. And while these are simple articles, those are enough for today's example. So what I'm going to do is to just drag them right here into my knowledge base. I'm going to name my knowledge base European Winter and click Create. And just like that, my knowledge base is almost ready to go. Now, if you have a large website or large file, that might take a bit longer. But because these files are pretty small, and you see here, they actually mention the character counts of these files. So that's important to take note because based on your subscription level, you might be going out of your limit. For example, if this was to have 4 million characters for a big book, this might not work. All right, the next section here is a new conversation, and this is where you can start interacting with the knowledge base and ask questions to see how it works. You also have analytics for when you share your knowledge base that you can do with this button right here, so you can get some data about how someone is using your own data using a chatbot. You can also customize your chatbot with different kinds of designs, but I'll show you that in a bit. The last section here is the number of credits you have left. And as you saw before, based on the model you use, you're going to use up credits in the real chatbot after you share it with someone. All right, I'm going to start a new conversation. And if you see in the bottom, there are a few suggestions already provided about the knowledge base that you can get started with. To get started, I'm just going to say, give me a summary of this knowledge base and click on that. All right, it says this knowledge base contains information about winter destinations in Europe, includes various cities and countries, and also mentions warm destinations in Spain and Malta and examples like that. What are some destinations in Austria? All right, it says some destinations in Austria mentioned in the knowledge base are Vienna and Salzburg. Vienna is known for its elegant architecture, rich history, and Christmas markets. Salzburg, the birthplace of Mozart, is a picturesque city with a historical old town and charming Christmas markets. Next, I'm going to ask, what are some good destinations for snow activities? It says some good destinations of snow activities mentioned in the knowledge base are Swiss Alps in Switzerland, the Austrian cities of Vienna and Salzburg, and Prague. I can't stand the snow. What are some options for me? It says, if you prefer to avoid snow and cold weather, there are several warm destinations as well. Some options are Costa del Sol in Spain, Malta, Canary Islands, and Sicily. Now let me try something else which is not in the knowledge base. Give me some options in Africa. Okay, it says Africa is not mentioned in the provided knowledge base. That is of course the correct answer. Now let me ask something which requires a bit more analysis. What are the three cheapest options for me? Okay, it says the knowledge base does not provide information about the cheapest options for a winter destination. It focuses on highlighting destinations and providing insights into their attractions and experiences. Now, if this was ChatGPT or something which has a much wider knowledge base, it could probably respond to me with Prague or something which is on the cheaper side compared to, say, Switzerland. But as you see, Dante AI's chatbot actually sticks to the knowledge base and only gives you responses that it's certain of. All right, hopefully now you understand how this basic chatbot works. Now, if you're ready to share this chatbot on your own website or share it with a friend or a team member, all you do is to click this button called Share Your Chatbot. And when you click that, you have this URL which shows up. And if you copy that and paste it right here on an incognito window, you're going to see that chatbot is now available independently. By the way, if you want to change the look and feel of this chatbot, there's a lot of customizations you can do. And that is where this customize your chatbot comes in handy. Now the first thing here is the base prompt, and that is the prompt that it works with automatically when you start chatting with the chatbot. It says, you should always refuse to answer questions that are not related to your specific knowledge base and never refer to anything outside the documents you're trained on. When you click next, you're gonna see there's a bunch of customizations you can offer. Instead of saying, hi, how can I help you? You can say, hi, I am Mr. Dante. How can I help you? You can also change those initial suggested prompts that you saw before. So if you want to remove this one which says write a poem, you can remove this right here. And instead of five, you can change this to three. You can also click this button called Remove Powered by Dante. And that will remove any kind of indication that this chatbot was made by Dante. But that requires a higher membership. 
You can also change the font, the font size, the background color, your chatbot logo, and add custom CSS. But all of these do require a paid membership. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you understand the power of AI chatbots and how simple it is to use Dante to spin up a simple AI chatbot for your website using a custom knowledge base. Now, hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and my AI newsletter. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.